Mina-san, konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. Um, we're a little bit behind. A little bit. So we're going to try to knock out a few unboxings. Um, video game development is a hassle. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, we are both actually developing a game right now. Simultaneously. Uh, yes, simultaneously. Yeah. So um, we'll talk about that more soon. Yeah. Anyway, unboxing the Transient Gundam. Oh, other quick aside. Um, contest, we're going to give it a month. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, we had some bureaucratic stuff that has been keeping us distracted. So give it until the middle of June. We'll, we'll uh, and that way everyone has plenty of time to refine their ideas and whatever. Yes. Okay. So anyway, Transient Gundam. Yeah, this is. Um, it's so pretty. Yeah, Wilfred Kojima's mobile suit uh, from Bill Fighters Try. Wilfred's pretty too. Yeah, he is pretty. Okay. I've been wanting to put this one together for a while, but I just haven't had the time yet. Okay, so. Popping them open. And we have really lovely clear blue pieces. These are great. Oh, those are beautiful. Yeah, this is going to be a beautiful kit. Oh my god. We have our frame pieces. I have nail polish in that color. Um... Stickers. These actually look nice. They're um, very reminiscent of Double O stuff, which, you know, of course makes sense because it's a Double O inspired kit. It is. Who is he based on? Um, I don't know that he's actually based on anyone, but he looks a little bit like, um, a little bit like an Estrella. Yeah. Um, so we have our white pieces, our nice big panels here, or sorry, nice little panels. Um, this is a very edgy suit. There's a lot of like tiny bits for an HG. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got our sort of purplish. I know there's no sort of about it. That's like Barney the dinosaur purple. <laughs> um, and just a couple of accent pieces, the face, the waist, um, that sort of stuff. And then our other blue here, this is so pretty, so sharp. Actually, those are really pointy for an HG kit. Mm. Mind your children. Our polycaps. Oh, that's interesting. Here is the, um, here's the stand. <laughs> I've never seen one like this. It's just literally the pieces. There's no gate. Um, that's nice. It's a real efficient use of the space. Uh We've seen that before. I don't remember where. But... Probably on the other one that has oh, one. Oh, it must be. Uh, yeah. yeah, the um, the portent. It is a portent. You're right. Yeah. So that's that's cool. And then we've got our main piece here. Uh, our sorry, our torso and everything. That's interesting that the torso is a single piece here, or well, two pieces front and back. Um, it looks like it could probably be more than that, but you know, it, I guess it is all white. So. Mm. So looks pretty simple. It is just an HG, um, you know, double O inspired kit. Let's see if it actually sheds a little bit of... Is he going to get pieces for the big angel wing effect? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. That could be a P-Bandai release or something. Oh man, that would be cool. It looks like... It looks like they're saying it was built off of Anexia. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Which is interesting because the Exia was also the villain um, of the... Or the you know the the big rival the dark matter mm, was yeah. the rival piece, pretty simple kit. Um, just four four pages of normal HG build instructions. Um, nothing spectacular here. The one thing that they are giving some advice on here is to basically go in with a silver marker on the in between pieces on that torso that I was just talking about, oh. uh, and give it a little bit of polish on the inside. Um, it'll make the whites stand out more, and it'll make those um blue pieces stand out more. So there we go. Unboxed the Transient Gundam. I'm going to try to put this together as soon as I can. Um, I've got a nice little backlog just of um, current stuff, let alone other stuff. So all right. Matane everyone. Matane.